I wanted to talk about the uh, the brand that we actually acquired in Q4 of last year towards the end of the year. Uh, this was a brand that we feel like we got a really favorable deal on. We had someone come to us and, and offer it. The price seemed right. And uh, we're really excited. We're really bullish on the opportunity. Uh, but we also know that our bandwidth is limited since we already have our main brand that we sell. And we had actually just a few weeks before this, agreed to purchase another business. So there was just a lot going on heading into last year. We didn't know what it would all look like, but we've made some major changes just in the last couple of weeks. So speak to that, Andy, and how, how you're approaching this private label brand, perhaps different than you have others in the past. Yeah, so one of the very first things that we both recognize is we needed to hire somebody in the CEO seat. Uh, because of all the different uh, business ventures we have going on, we understood that we can't dedicate the time that's needed to really grow this brand. So I'm excited about that. We identified, we hired the person. Uh, they're doing a great job. And we hope that, you know, they're going to be able to really take the brand where it needs to go. And we kind of become more like an, an advisor role. And so that's what we've been able to do with this person. Uh, eventually, you know, we'll reveal who they are. But we're excited about um, the energy and the effort uh, that she is putting into it. And we think that she's going to be able to take it to that level. And because of our experience now, we're able to kind of come in and consult and offer an encouragement, offer resources that she's going to need to be able to grow that brand. And, you know, you read the books or you talk to the people that have been in business for a while. Uh, you've heard that before, like in order to build multiple businesses. You really have to get the right people in the right seats and then just kind to kind of free them, right? And, and let them take it over. So that's one of the things I'm excited about. Yeah, definitely a new experience letting someone else lead the charge on this brand, but I'm really excited about it and it will uh, be refreshing not have to worry about all those little things um, every day, right? Maybe spread it out a little bit. And along that line, some of the kind of immediate advising that we're doing and helping there is getting in just a couple key roles as well, uh, like an operations and finance role and then a marketing role. And just to kind of get tactical here on this brand, when we first came in and anybody who's either starting a new private label brand or who has bought one or whatever the situation is, I feel like some of the, you know, for a smaller brand, really what you kind of need is you, you have your operations and your finance. So the account management, making sure your, your numbers are right uh, and, and operating that account from like an inventory supply chain level and just the Amazon account health and shipments going in. Uh, and then we have a warehouse, obviously, that we already kind of work with. So if you're doing that on your by your own or using a 3PL, that kind of covers that. And then the marketing and we're really looking at things like the social media, setting up um, community and then PPC advertising. And we'll, we'll look to set up um, like a better Shopify website around this brand as well. So there's really not so many roles immediately that we're going to jump on. We're just going to kind of keep it fixed on those two big buckets there. Uh, and that should allow us to um, you know, with the CEO uh, who's running it, allow them to really run with it. And then we can kind of just give this strategic direction like you talked about, Andy. So I'm really excited about that. Um, excited. Uh, you know, we, we throw out numbers all the time. This is a brand that's already doing, um, you know, close to 100,000 a month the last few months. It's, it's under that right now, but close to it that we think can become, you know, a three to $5 million brand in the next two to three years is kind of our realistic goal to get a good internal rate of return on the investment here. So I'm really excited. Those are, those are rough numbers, but um, the total available market for this brand that we're in is honestly huge, way bigger than that. 